Hey everyone, welcome to Prosperous Life Finance where I help educate you in becoming a better trader and investor. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Tesla stock as of now. Before we start, I would really appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe in order to join the Prosperous Life family where we're all one community in order to help each other become better traders and investors. Once again, I appreciate you guys talking to each other in the comments, giving each other more information on different stocks, trades, and even entry and exit points. So once again, be sure to join the family and like and subscribe before we start the video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So going on the front page of Tesla, I'm pretty sure this company does not need an introduction as Tesla is known worldwide and is in my opinion one of the most popular electric vehicle companies. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be taking a look at if Tesla price can reach 2322 and even surpass it in the future. So as we can see, we're currently looking at an article which says that Piper Sandler raises Tesla price target to $2,322. Now, in case you guys are not aware, Piper Sandler is an investment banking company. So here we see how the Piper Sandler analyst Alex Potter actually raised his price target on Tesla stock by nearly 150% from $939 to over $2,322 per share. Now, the reason is just the fact that he says that Tesla is the most consequential company in the mobility ecosystem, and he says that it is unlikely to change in the next decade. They are increasing their price target to $2,322 after adjusting their DCF model to reflect their faster than expected share gains and also their detailed analysis of Tesla's software opportunity. Now, first and foremost, let's start with this first statement. They said this is unlikely to change within the next decade. So as you guys know, Tesla has been around for quite a while, and in the few recent years, they have gained lots and lots of popularity as we are moving into a more technological world and as you guys know tesla did change the world and the electric vehicle segment well i'm not saying that they were the only company to do this i think they're one of the first to actually make electric vehicles look really nice and be able to market them to the overall population with this being said i do personally think that tesla can actually continue to rise in stock price throughout the next decade and even beyond that and as you can see they are increasing their price target after adjusting their dcf model so in case you guys don't know what a dcf model is a dcf model is essentially a discounted cash flow which is just a valuation method that they use to estimate the value of an investment based on its future future cash flows. So a discounted cash flow is a very crucial valuation method and it is a valuation method which many individuals use in order to estimate the value of an investment based on the company's future cash flows. So we see here that Piper Sandler actually increased their forecast for 2020 deliveries to 487,000 and say that Tesla is achieving their original guidance of over 500,000 deliveries for the year. So one thing to know is to always be realistic with every investment. Now one thing I do like is that the analyst says that there is uncertainty when it comes to the pace and magnitude of Tesla's capacity ramp. So they say that their delivery estimates may prove unrealistic in some years but overall the general upward trajectory seems certain according to them now once again this is one thing that i think is very important due to the fact that they are admitting that there is always uncertainty with every investment or even a valuation method based on future projections due to the fact that they are based on future projections which either may or may not happen so that is one thing i love to always tell you guys which is why i always tell you guys to perform your own due diligence and research when investing in any company due to the fact that there are many many things that you have to take into consideration whenever it comes to your hard-earned money being invested in these companies so as we can see here on this chart this graph actually shows the annual vehicle deliveries if tesla were to achieve a 50 percent compound annual growth rate from 2020 to 2030 implying that there is 4.2 million in the year 2025 so as you can see in the year 2030 there would be a ton of tesla annual deliveries according to this compounding annual growth rate now one thing to note is that this analyst alex potter actually said that while deliveries are a key driver of their increased near-term estimates the software is the biggest driver of their increased discounted cash flow model based price target and lastly this investment company actually forecasts tesla revenue from the full self-driving option to exceed 50 billion dollars in the year 2030 which are some very very large numbers so now let's go ahead and take some look at some technical analysis so here on the screen you are looking at the td ameritrade think or swim trading platform which is my personal choice when it comes to trading and investing in stocks so as you can see here we have tesla stock and we are currently looking at a one year one day chart so we see a few things we see how at the end of last year the low was 211 dollars the stock price right now is currently at 1524 dollars so if you got in anywhere like last year your returns on this stock were overall massive so what do these lines and indicators show us so essentially this blue line right here is our nine day exponential moving average here we see the volume right under that we have the macd which actually helps us with entry and exit strategies and the rsi which helps us to evaluate if the stock is currently oversold or overbought so in case you guys would like to get more information about all of these indicators here that you see on the screen my channel has multiple tutorials on how to use each of these and i even gave you guys examples of how they work 
work. So one thing to note from the very start is that whenever you are a short term trader or swing trader, it is going to be very different from a long term investor. So what this means is that if you are a long term investor, obviously you wouldn't mind these day to day fluctuations because in the long run, as you can see, you will profit no matter what. Now, if you are a short term trader and swing trader, obviously these fluctuations are very good for you as you can enter and exit constantly. So still on this yearly chart, we do see how the RSI is actually indicating us that this stock is currently overbought and the MACD is actually kind of slowly forming a selling signal. While it has not, it is one thing to look at. Now let's actually go ahead and look at a five day chart. So one thing to know is that these past five days, Tesla did reach a high of $1,794.99 before tanking right after that. Now this is also one thing I want to let you guys know about Tesla stock is that it is very, very volatile, which means that you have to be able to handle these day to day fluctuations. Depending on your personal investment style, strategy, and even risk management, you should always follow your plan. This means that even if I bought at this high and I'm a long term investor, which means that I plan on holding this stock for over the next 10, 20, 30 years, I will not pay attention to these day to day fluctuations and even these small pullbacks as it is part of the investing process. And if you are a trader or swing trader, obviously your approach would be very, very different. Now, remember, all of these indicators you see on the screen should only be used as tools and not final investment decisions. So, what is my overall opinion on this stock? I do think that this stock is very good for the long term. Now, once again, you should always perform your own due diligence, research, and analysis before investing and trading in any stock. So with that being said, with such a volatile stock like Tesla, it could actually still keep going down in the near future. But over the long run, I personally do see this stock still going up. So once again, this was a look at what the Piper Sandler analyst raised the price target to, which is over $2,322. I want to go ahead and ask you guys, what do you guys think about Tesla? Do you guys see this stock going up in the near future? Do you see it go down? I would love to receive your feedback and your comments down in the section below. Once again, if you guys gained some very valuable information, be sure to like and subscribe in order to join the Prosperous Life family in order for all of us to grow and help each other out with our investment journey. Thank you guys very much for watching. God bless you all. And I will see you guys in the next video.